in the last video I showed you how to make um, the charcoal powder and the willow charcoal powder. It has to be willow so then it's nice and fluffy. But now I'll show you how to make black powder. And first, I s the recipe that I'll have the links in the description to my sources for potassium nitrate, um, my sulfur powder, and you know, I just make my own black. Uh, willow charcoal but you can look it up and order like a pound bag on Amazon or something but I just chose not to do that because it's pretty expensive so first I the recipe that I'm going off of is for modern Swiss black powder and it's a hundred parts saltpeter which I have here and I, I have ground it up in a spice grinder to make sure it's extra fine I did the same I showed you with the um, black powder or with the charcoal and then I take, then I also stick this potassium nitrate in an oven to help uh, if it's, especially if it's older like mine and you haven't kept it in an airtight container, then um, it's what, it absorbs the moisture in the air and you want to take that moisture back out of it. And so first I'm going to start by tearing my container on the scale and then I'm gonna weigh out I'll just do make it easy and do a hundred gram batch or hundred grams of potassium nitrate it's okay if it's not exactly spot on if it's just one I have a one gram tolerance for me and then I take that and I have a airtight container for my black powder. I've already made some in the past. And so now I take that and I pour in. I just pour it on top of my other stuff because I'm using you got to keep your recipe consistent. But I um I have a consistent recipe. Then I need to weigh out 13.3 grams but my scale's not super accurate so I and because I do I always do it a little bit heavy so I, more than what the recipe calls for so I'll just do 14 grams of my sulfur powder then I take that I dump it in put that back down Next, I'm going to weigh out 20 grams of charcoal, and you'll be surprised that that may look like a lot of charcoal in there, but it's very light and fluffy, so it actually takes more than you expect. See, that is just 12 grams, and you saw how much 13 grams of that sulfur powder was. There we go, 20 grams of that. Dump that in. And there you go. That's how you make your black powder. And then just seal up your container and shake it around. You don't want to mix it, especially something I want you definitely you should know is never mix it all together in the same spice grinder that you ground your um, potassium nitrate and charcoal powder because then that creates friction and you have the risk of basically blowing yourself up so and we wouldn't want that so there you go there is your black powder in there and um, I'll, I'll, I have another video made up for showing you this stuff burning, and it that was actually quite a lot. I wouldn't normally do that much, but I think um, it was fun for demonstrational purposes. And um, I'll make some more videos on how um, you can mix various metals and metal powders with this that I make myself as well just from the raw metal and then I grind it down 
and um, it'll you can make different colored fireworks which I love doing so I'll show you that in the next video